what is inspired action okay so i've talked about this before when we talk about manifestation and a lot of people including myself in the past was taught manifestation is this very powerful practice where you sit somewhere and you visualize what you want and that is beautiful but when you visualize what you want you have to take actions to make it happen otherwise things just don't happen it's not like there is someone with a magic wand that is going to whoop, make it happen appear in front of you so a lot of people do this they sit on a couch they write it down in the journal it's you know what they want but there are two factors to this one is the first step is the feeling that they have about this and i recognize the feeling in myself because of the programming that we have since we are children i don't have it it's coming from a place of lack by thinking that you don't have something the energy you're putting into that is actually i don't have it the reality is i don't have it and you're gonna keep on manifesting that reality mostly because inspired action is not just taking an action but actually thinking what have i done up to now that didn't give me what i wanted so that i have to change it and those actions are different for everybody we all make different decisions but lately i or lately since last year um i kind of had this really strong download about taking inspired action there was a, in my private life i would I was just not happy with how things were going because I felt like I was keep on saying it. Keep, I, I kept on saying the same things that I wasn't satisfied with something that I wanted something different. And I was met with this resistance that I didn't have the right to actually want something different, that it wasn't the right time, that the world was falling apart. I mean, any any reason not to feel that way or think that I wanted something different was pushed at me instead of actually saying, OK, how are we going to make it happen so that we can have change because I'm with a person that doesn't like change or was with a person that didn't like change. Um, and in truth, I had to come to a point where I'm like, if I want things to change, I'm going to have to take action. It doesn't matter. I, don't, I didn't have a plan. I just went with it. I, I followed that feeling. But that feeling was like, you're going to do this. For the first thing is this office that I have. It was like, I'm going to have an office and I'm going to get people to come and see me so I can help them physically online I can really channel my energy into making things happen and I I did very quickly and of course the person my my husband got involved into this because I borrowed money from him to make this happen and I didn't give him much heads up but the point is when I did in the past give him heads up about my projects he energetically didn't want me to do it and I felt it and I was always discouraged so this time I decided not to involve him in my pro process of decision making and I was just I'm going with it I took inspired action it felt inspired it felt like it was coming from the heart and I'm just like let's go that's one thing the other thing is that I knew what the feeling would be to have the space because I wanted to accomplish something I knew that I had to help women I knew that it was the right flow and time to do it and I did it and of course, the business has been growing steadily, but in a way that um, it's manageable, but also uh, to my limitation, I'm one person. So now I'm in the process of thinking, how do I expand my business? Because the truth is this, as I expand my business, I can help women not only with their coaching, but I can help them actually work with me and make money and become powerful coaches. And I create a system where I have wonderful women that I trust working in the way that I do so that we can help more and more women. So that's the focus of it. And to do that, I have to invest. Now, the conundrum was, okay, there's a big investment to be made. You can go the route of crowdfunding. You can go the route of reaching out to investors. Investors, I am not keen on because they would dictate how the business is going to be run. And I don't want that because the whole thing about being women doing work for women is that we are free to make those choices even if sometimes they go against the, against the grain investors are just looking at the commercial which is very important not denying that crowdfunding maybe an option in the future but for now i have to create something that people will want to even believe into so i'm like okay uh the program that i have a very minimum for now because again i'm one person so as we develop 
maybe there's a possibility for that and I can't wait because that means that some of the crowdfunding crew will actually be people that might be applying for becoming coaches and getting trained and so on so this is the beautiful part of it and then I have a passion for projects as you guys know I transformed a piece of land with a ruin on it in a retreat unfortunately we didn't do retreats because 2020 happened but also I got sick in the process and uh, a lot of personal stuff was started happening as well and I had to focus on getting better because I couldn't host the space for anyone. It was too overwhelming even to deal with my own family. I just couldn't do it and so I didn't do it uh, for different reasons and some part my choice, some part um, influence around me. And um, I now, am, I'm, I really want to help people create beautiful things as I have. Part of well-being is having a home and where you're feeling welcome you're feeling safe and i know that because in the process of making changes i am not spending a lot of time on the farm but when i am in braga i actually don't have a home i'm with friends i i'm in my office i don't have that cozy space that i call home just yet but i know how it feels to do so what am i going to do well i can sit on the couch and manifest the emotions and the, the feeling of winning the lottery that's okay but it's not dependent on my me taking action the only action i can take is to play right but what action can i take so i started getting involved with a real estate agent and that offers a really good good training here in portugal well globally but here in portugal and um <clears throat> it's william keller it's very American and it does have a lot of comparables to JP Morgan, which I don't like. But the beauty here is that I'm not employed by them, I'm trained by them, but I'm self employed. The point is that I can actually create a movement of consciousness, of a sustainability, of mindful buyers and mindful sellers. I can create my crew, I can create what I want because I'm going to be working with my energy towards creating this, towards creating something. On top of it, it's not just the selling and the, and the buying. Actually, for me, it's about being there as a sounding board for projects that people have. So I will be working mostly with international markets uh, coming here because there's a big influx of people that uh, maybe don't even have massive budgets, but they want to buy uh, great land, maybe with friends, and then create something amazing and uh, being there. Or people that have a massive budget, but they don't really know the ins and out of the Portuguese market and I have experienced it not knowing but I've learned so much because I went from zero to a hundred on my own and so I thought this is a brilliant way to actually taking action inspired action and make things happen and everything that I make from this will mean standing on my two feet and investing in living health to become what I know can be a wonderful powerful really resourceful um, company that gives back to women, allows women to have jobs, allows women to to thrive, but where I actually really take responsibility for it as well because I'm investing my own money. And that is the most powerful thing that I can think about, never depending on anyone ever again. Um, because the truth is, if you're giving something that people want, the, the, pers the person you with wants, they will treat you really well. They will say that everything is shared. But the moment you actually decide that it's time to part ways because that person is not a good partner in different ways, then somehow it becomes a problem to share, even if it's right. And I never want to be in that position again. And I'm sure my ladies out there that have been through separation, divorce, uh, or even business breakups, they understand because this is a sad part of the human experience, I feel like, as women, as humans, we are like that. One of the things that I also want to do as I create my wealth and my develop my business is to actually uh, give something back to people that have helped me in the past because I wasn't able to, but I want to. And equally, um, as I said, create opportunities so that they don't have to struggle. They can have a job that they love. Now, this is all for women, and I'm sorry, gentlemen, uh, but the reason is, this is a, a, a bit, I see my business as a woman's business made for women by women. This is like one of the taglines. I've been working on a project with two friends and this is actually what I said. I'm like, guys, this is what comes to me all the time by women, for women, by women, for women. 
and it is true because it feels that way viscerally so this is really where i'm at taking inspired action sometimes the action doesn't doesn't match what we thought the action would be it doesn't you know it's like oh wow i didn't think i was going to go this route but the beauty of it is that we are such flexible beings and if we are we are flexible and we are not stagnant and stuck in ways and we want to do a certain thing in a certain way opportunities open up so i'm right there to create these opportunities so i hope that this inspires you to maybe think outside the box right think about okay i've done this for a long time and the results are just not happening what can i do differently if you're interested in chatting to me about future possibilities about your skills about how we can work together about things that we can co-create please get in touch talking about co-creation i am working with the selena group in portugal to create urban retreats here in portugal in the city as well as nature retreats in jerez with their new setup where we can bring people for a weekend to seven days i am collaborating with my friend sky in australia to create an amazing raw retreat next year the same kind of framework i am reaching out to friends that i know are skilled whether they are doctors healers to bring their gift on retreats where people can really immerse themselves these things are still happening. Those things are will be happening. I do the Elevate Plant-Based Market once a month. I moved it from a place where we were not getting enough traffic and traction, where it felt like the support wasn't there because there wasn't an image of our our project growing because we were not we were not really official. We didn't have an association to actually move into a place where I can see the dynamics and the collaboration and the opportunity. And I am thinking, how do I, how do I open an association, which is what I'm gonna focus on um, at the end of the year. So there are a lot of things happening. I'm super busy and I want to create opportunities and it's not just me. I am definitely the idea person. I have a lot of the skills I'm learning even now with this course. I am uh, definitely setting up the frameworks and the blueprints, but I wanna create this with people in my life. Do I believe in boundaries? Yes, there would be clear boundaries. I would choose only people that I feel in my heart, that are right there energetically, that are honest, open, they're not just stalkers because there's no time to waste. We wanna change lives, we need to do it well. One of the things that I'm visualizing to do is to take Marie Forleo's B School, the business um, course that is, I think the gold standard for all business courses. I've seen many online, hers resonates so deeply maybe because in a way although she has gentlemen joining the b school it is kind of a woman for woman because she does support women she understands how tough it is in a world where we are looked at as the minority so that we are less than men this patriarchal society still looks at us that way even if it's not true so i'm really excited about all this happening and i really want to share this with you take action i don't know what that is for you you might not even know specifically but change something do something make a move and see the results i love you ladies i love you guys i hope you're well and having a great day and i'll chat to you soon bye